Uh, this is Craig sitting in for Jimmy. Who is this? Hey, Jimmy Dore. This is President Joe Biden. Hey, hello, Mr. President. But again, my name is Craig Jardula, and I'm sitting in for Jimmy this week. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, all right. What did you say your name was again, Jimmy? <laughs> I said my name is Craig Jardula. All right. Who is this guy? Am I allowed to? Am I allowed to talk to him? Mr. President, I assure you it's fine. Jimmy Dore and Steph are on vacation this week, so I'm here. Okay. All right, man. I dig <laughs> it. So so what should I call you? <laughs> you can call me Pasta, actually. Pasta? Yeah. Well, hell, why didn't you say so? I know you. How are you, man? <laughs> you, <laughs> you know me from my work? No, I don't know what you do. We grew up together. On the main streets of Wilmington, D.E. You remember? <laughs> we most absurdly did not, Mr. President. I'm sorry. Well, uh, sure we did. Pasta. Pasta. It's me, Joey B. from the neighborhood. <laughs> you know me. Up for a nickel, down to a trickle. Ten cents for a pickle. Now for a West Side popcorn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you bring back some real memories. Pasta hell. I can even smell the old corner soda shop as we speak. <laughs> oh wait, there's an open Dr. Pepper can on my desk. Mr. President, we did not grow up together. But sure we did. You're pasta. I, I swear I'm a different pasta. You must be thinking about someone else. Happily, I can say I'm significantly younger than you, Mr. President. I, I see. Okay. Well, I, 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 I guess you're right. I can't remember old pasta's real name, but it sure as shit wasn't Craig. Yeah. Actually, I, you know, I'm glad to hear this. I hated old pasta. I was just pretending to be nice and happy to see oh. him. Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah, old pasta was a mean, tough dago. <laughs> I'm talking a real street guinea here. Oh, my wait, God. Wait, whoa. Hey, Mr. President, I don't think you're supposed to be using phrases like that anymore. Well, you weren't supposed to back then either. I called him that once and he walloped me a good one. He said, take that, you potato munching mick. And then my 19 uncles who were cops all arrested him. <laughs> I see, Mr. President. Which brings me to my point, new pasta. I've always been making gaffes my entire life. People have pointed to my recent gaffes I have made and used them as evidence of mental decline. But no. I've been saying inarticulate, inartful, cringeworthy, and downright stupid and offensive things since I've been able to speak. <laughs> if anything, me continuing to do so indicates a sustained youthful vigor. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, Mr. President. Take all this shit I said in Hawaii, for example. My team is going bananas cleaning up after the mess I left there. All that dumb shit I said. <laughs> Can you believe I literally got up in front of all those poor people and, and compared what they would just gone through to me almost losing a Corvette in a fire? Almost, but not. <laughs> I can't even believe it myself, and I fucking said it. Yeah, it's hard to believe, Mr. President. And before that, walking around, people looking to the commander-in-chief to inspire confidence, to comfort, hope for healing. And what do I say? That's some hot ground, man. <laughs> like I'm fucking stoned or something. <laughs> That's some hot ground, man. That's what the president said. Yeah. Uh, of the United States. Yeah, Mr. President, that was not very inspiring at all. New past, I can hardly believe in myself. <laughs> the shit that comes out of my, my own mouth. But that's my point. In my defense, I've always been stupid. Wow. I've always embarrassed everyone around me with the things I say. Whether I'm defending segregation or commenting on the heat of the surface of the earth, <laughs> it's always the same Joe Biden. It does not mean that I'm losing my mind with age. Yeah, okay, we'll just have to take your word on that one, Mr. President. He was always Uncle you remember, Joe. You remember Corn Pop? Yeah. Now he tried to mess with you that one time? <laughs> Excuse me? Corn pop. Oh, I thought we had cleared that up, Mr. President. I'm not the pasta from your youth, Mr. President. I'm Craig, and I'm filling in for Jimmy Dore. You understand? Oh, right.
right, 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 right. But, but do you remember him? Corn Pop. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes, I do. I remember Corn Pop, Mr. President. Remember how he always gave you the business because you like phosphate so much? Of course. That was funny. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm not senile. I've always made gaffes. Every day. It shows you I'm a spring chicken. Old pasta, tell new pasta I have to go to bed now. It's 6 a.m. where I am, and I have to go to bed. Good night now. Good night, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? It's time for Field of Greens. Do you take this stuff? Now, this is called Superfood. This is the Brickhouse Nutrition. I like this one. So this is like if you, uh, this isn't a fake food. This is like real food. Somehow they grind it up, freeze dried or whatever. And it looks like this, right? You, you, it looks like that. And you take a scoop of it and you put it in a drink. I like this because it tastes, and I know this is going to sound funny, but it tastes like iced tea and fresh cut grass, but in a great way. Well, now that you can't get a lawnmower, you better and enjoy not, it yeah. this way. And so this is real food. So it's not, there's no supplements or it's real food in here. And it's got all the, you know, spinach. Look at it. The, the, the spinach, uh, parsley, kale, all that crap that you don't want to eat. It's in here. <laughs> and so if you don't eat vegetables, like I don't, uh, you take this. Now, Misha, you, you took this, right? And you said it made you feel better. Yeah. Gave her energy, she says. So it gave her energy. And uh, look at that. So fantastic. So you could get a... Oh, I got to say something. Um, it's whole organic fruit and vegetable, not a watered-down supplement. And it's backed by a better health promise. Each ingredient in Field of Greens was scientifically chosen to support vital health. Like, okay. I, and, uh, okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, go to fieldofgreens.com. Use promo code JIMMY to save 15% off your one-time purchase, or 10% off a subscription. It's a great way to support the show. Go to fieldofgreens.com, use promo code JIMMY. I don't know why I say it like that, but there it is. Hey, come see us on Live on Tour. We're doing a show in New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Connecticut, Toledo, Rochester, Michigan. That's just outside of Detroit. St. Louis, Tampa, Florida, Boca Raton, Florida, and Orlando, Florida. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets.